In the meantime, the Social Democratic Party, SAP, has warned intending the campaigns conditions uh, for joining the party ahead of the 2023 general elections. The party made this known at the press briefing in Abuja, stating that the party, based on its mantra, will not be used as a vessel or an opportunity vehicle. They stressed that the party will not welcome anyone that has a case pending in court or anyone that has been convicted, even if the person is now appealing that conviction. Take a listen. I'm bearing in mind the election guidelines rolled out by INEC and following the intervention of several well-meaning Nigerians who had seen SDP as the alternate platform for power and saw SDP as the only alternative to PDP and APC, we bent back forward and we offered to joint process the screening of aspirants, candidates for the party, party primaries. So we ac accepted the premise that there should be a joint effort so that there won't be a parallel process in screening aspirants and candidates of the party. Because we knew that SDP was the party that everyone saw now as an alternative to the main Meanwhile, the party will be holding its ward and local government congresses on 19 May 2022, state congresses on 20 May 2022, and its national convention on 28 to 30 May 2022. What we had in mind in fixing what we're fixing for aspirants to pay is the fact that we as a political party, and you know we, it's, it's, it's private, Donations, we don't, uh, we are not run by public funds as several of those parties, maybe. We've looked at the cost of having agents in all the polling units of the Federation, and that has partly determined the costs of funds in our own party. I think ours, on average, is about the third about 30% of what uh, all the other parties are forming. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.